Hey, we're back with some exciting Risk content. We're keeping it normal today. We are playing on all of the usual normal settings. This is 90 second expert AI ranked fixed balance blitz classic map. No, uh, it's just novices to grandmasters and alliances are on. Bots are automated. Basically normal stuff. And we are live on Twitch. So I'm sure there's a lot of chess players that are like, what? Risk or chess players that have been here for a long time and they're like, yay, Pog, Risk. And the way that it works is you get these troops, you try to take continents at the beginning. Red General Thacker is going a little bit nuts in Africa, okay? He wants it all and he wants it all now. <laughs> Up next is Purple. We are playing with General Vader from an unspecified country. My best bet is that they should be going for Europe. They agree with that assessment. Now, my issue, and I actually don't think I have an issue. I think I actually have a good thing going here for either North America or Australia with blue. But I get to see what pink does. Pink is Mika from France, right? And we'll see what pink does. If pink adds strongly to North America, it might mean that Australia is mine. I only need to worry about what green is doing. I think green should be able to go down here but you never know if you go for Australia. It, it could just be the end of your game. <laughs> Australia is where noobs go to die. And then sometimes me. What is Pink doing? Pink wants Australia. Cool. I'm very happy with it. <laughs> I'm glad to see it. Pink goes nuts. Pink wants Australia. Excellent. I think that that is a wonderful thing. <laughs> I love to see that. I'm gonna add into North America. These four probably survive because they can come up at some point. All of this survives. This two dies, but that's not a problem. We are able to grab a card out here. We'll take a very non-offensive card. We're gonna plop these guys back into North America to make it obvious. On the next turn, we're gonna let people out. We got an amazing start. All right, goodbye to chess players that can't handle risk. We knew if you could handle it, you would all stay. But I appreciate you guys being here. Have a good day. Green adds into South America, which I think is probably correct. But you probably shouldn't hit a four. Let's see how they do it. Ah, okay, so green's coming this way. That's great. Green is gonna knock all of this stuff out for me. That's actually beautiful. The last two games that I've played on stream, I have not won. Green is General Suko, by the way. Orange is G-Man. Uh, so, and I'm posting every game that I play on YouTube. So it'd be nice to win a game. <laughs> Let's see if today is my lucky day. Make some nasty alliance. I've actually been having good success not making alliances right away. I think the traditional, the Grandmaster textbook it, wait, I'm actually, wait, I flipped myself. Wait, you guys didn't tell me I'm looking the wrong way. Am I looking the wrong way? Why did nobody tell me? I think the Grandmaster Method book on alliances said offer them early and often. But I've been having good success. In incredible. What are you doing, Red? Red is going down here to fight Pink. Red is going nuts. What are you doing? So Red thinks... Red is like, I don't get this continent. I don't, nobody, nobody has anything. Wow, Red is just throwing the game away. What is happening? <laughs> he's, he's a human bot. So you play with all different levels of players. There's going to be novices. There's going to be grandmasters. There's going to be all sorts of players. So I have this four that needs to come this way. I, my position is it's beautiful. I have an amazing position. The crazy guy is like far away from me, except for this three. <laughs> Let's see what pink does. Pink goes over back towards Australia. We'll see if they can get it. They're trying to get their troops there as fast as possible, making a lot of attacks. Fortifies them all in. I think my turn is quite easy. I add here. I start heading out. As a courtesy to purple, I toss you an alliance. I get out of everybody else's way. Now, if pink wants these troops to come out, to start going out there, they can let them out. And now we use a little bit of diplomacy. We say, hey, purple, we're gonna be on, I'm going for North America. 
I'm telling you, it's cool. If you want to go for Europe, we can be friends. And we can both get five. I get five extra troops for holding this. You can have five extra troops for that. We're all going to be happy. All right. Here's like a little decision that means a lot. Yellow could have hit me, purple, pink, red, or not pink. They could have hit anybody. They chose to hit me. This doesn't mean anything. Just storing that info in the back of my mind. It also is kind of the most natural square to take. So I'm not about taking that as a sign that yellow hates my guts, but I'm just, I'm just keeping that in mind. Filing that away in the mental compartment. All right. Red has no hope. <laughs> so get all these guys closer. Get them all closer. How does the game end? So this is, uh, it's world domination. So you win by taking the entire board. When you control every territory, you win. So what happens is slowly people get picked off. So somebody that ends up weak, like red, is very likely to die early because everybody can pick on them. Yellow's gonna take all of this out. Green's gonna take all of this out. Pink is gonna take this guy out. So what I want to do is I'm letting people out of my continent, but when the turn comes to be able to kill red, I actually want my stack here. I also want an alliance with green because then I think that's where red is gonna die. And then pink might be weak after that. We'll see what happens. All right, so pink I think is going out. This is great. Get out of my bonus. I love it. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And then they're gonna they're gonna put them all here. They're not taking this yet, because they're probably worried about what red might do. All right, I'm actually gonna add a lot here. I'm gonna go in. I'm going to assure my buddy <laughs> that we're cool. I'm gonna assure him by going even one more square over. And now I have a big active stack. So if I need to run out this way, if it's possible to kill red or pink, I actually already have like a kill line that I might be able to go for. Green actually might be a decent player, only they haven't given me an alliance. Usually like beginners don't necessarily try to get value outside of the continent that they're going for. They just go for their continent and leave like a two in here just to make sure that pink has to to kill something. But what often happens is you end up losing this troop anyway. So usually it's a good idea to try to roll twos and threes somewhere else. Like you get some value out of this. I know he's waiting for this to come down. I'm hoping this purple four moves out of the way. That'll let pink, if they want, get these troops out. That'll let green get down. And then eventually I'll be able to get this continent. It's hard to take North America. And I, I, I don't have green figured out yet. But they are, they're, if they're going down here and not aggressing my border, I, I think green is a decent player. So I don't think I'll get bugged by them. I wouldn't think so, but you never know. <laughs> you never know who you're messing with. Is red still playing? They have 31 troops. I thought they went a little bit nuts at some point, but somehow they're hanging in there. Go for Australia. Whoa! Okay, they are nuts. <laughs> wow. I mean, red is just like a novice. That's a crazy move. Let's see how purple handles it. What are the, the symbols on Greenland, Ukraine, and Southeast Asia, aka Irkutsk? Uh, this means I have these cards. So on my next turn, I can turn in. For, I have all three. I got an infantry, a cavalry, artillery, and all three. All three being the best. And I have like these squares. So since I own this country, I'll get two extra troops if I turn in this card. So it's just to let me know that I have these cards, which makes it, when I go to turn in, it makes it a little bit easier. So if I wanted to come take like one of these territories, I would take Irkutsk just because I have the card. And I might get additional troops that way. So... Purple is making a stack. Maybe he's going to run away. But as I was saying, the last two games I played on stream, I lost. So I need to get a win here today. Because I am posting every game on YouTube. So it's time. We're due for a win. You might say I'm, I'm the most real 
risk streamer in the business, posts everything, good, bad, ugly, he posts it all. He's so real. How do I, ugh. All right, these guys are not getting out, but purple's going that way, green's going this way, and pink is just annoying. So here's what I'm gonna do. I got a huge stack here, nobody's worth killing yet. I'm posting up over here. I know purple is gonna be nice and get out of my way, but purple might not actually be going for Europe anymore if this is what red is doing. Do I play with progressive? Not ever. <laughs> I guess I have ever. When I play like capitals, I think it makes sense to play progressive. I'm gonna be experimenting a lot more with different maps, different kinds of uh, ways of playing Risk. Yesterday we did some interesting things we played on the Australia map. So today I thought, you know what? Let's just go back to a classic. <laughs> mix in mix in the classic stuff and then maybe every other day we go, we try something and maybe Progressive is one of those. Now, if I were yellow, I would be terrified of red because he's insanely unpredictable. And I probably would not take a continent with red next to me because he might even hit your 17. Like red is has been insane. What are the chances there's a stream sniper? I don't think it's ever happened to me, but maybe it's high enough. I don't know. I guess other streamers have run into it. No, red and yellow are friends. Incredible. I can't believe it. <laughs> How does red see somebody with a continent and not take it away? Yeah, of course. He has to do it. <laughs> Oh, tough luck. <laughs> yeah. So yellow should have recognized that red is a complete novice. <laughs> he's unhinged. He's, he's, not, uh, he's not playing the same, the game the way the rest of us are, okay? Yellow might be an okay player the way that they held. But I don't, I don't think they're like a, a master or grandmaster that would recognize what all the other players are doing. So purple, I dare you to take Europe on this turn. I would love to see it. You got a turn in, would love to see you take Europe, see what red does. <laughs> Go for it, take it. Take it all. Go for Europe. Yeah, we're so cool. Yeah, you don't have to defend your border if you don't want, we're very cool. We're the coolest. So it would be great if pink started rolling this stuff out. I suspect that they won't. I, I think they're just, I don't think pink is ever gonna move this. Oh no, they're great. All right, thank you. All right, everything is going well. We hope now like yellow smashes all of red out and we can somehow run out. Hopefully this, hopefully we can like do some sort of double kill at some point. Wait, but it's not easy to get a card. All right, no it is. All right, so I keep getting cards here, I think. I don't want to go here and abandon North America. I'm keeping my grip on North America. I'm just grabbing a card. Because there's going to be some potential in the future to, like, kill red, chain it into a kill onto whoever red goes nuts at. You can see the turn order here. So now it's green's turn, yellow's turn, red. And you can also see how many cards. You can see how many troops, how many territories everybody has. I don't know how red breaks green if green keeps this set up. So yeah, we got a reckless novice. So the strategy is definitely chill out and wait for kills. This is one of the best ways to do it. So now red gets punished. Beautiful. Can't kill this three though, which I knew would be a problem. I didn't know the right solution. Like, red is going to die, very obviously. Nice try, buddy. All right, let's see if red breaks you or not. <laughs> but red is now going to break yellow. He's going to have three cards. So I need, like, a, a number here that I can, I can kill on the next turn with. Or I need a turn in. Obviously, red hits yellow, and then red dies. But pink is not taking here. Huh. Yeah, I think I am going to have to do a split just to have the potential to kill red. 
If red ends up with four cards, I would like to kill them, but it relies on pink actually taking here. If pink doesn't take this because they're just waiting for other people to kill red, pink is going to be able to get the kill. So pink just being very patient might work out for them, but let's see if that's what they do. Maybe they take all of Australia here. Kill guard or take Australia? If you're kill guarding, it wouldn't be ridiculous to add three here and just hit hit one of these. This would this is not ridiculous. If pink is playing for the kill on the next turn. Yeah. They don't open my stack. They stay suspiciously close to red. <laughs> I I have the same sort of intention. I don't need that many, but I'm going to make it look like I'm just going to take my continent. Pink is very sneaky. This is a high level play by pink. Staying far away. I'm guarding this square so that pink has to run a little bit farther <laughs> if they want to get this. Ah, uh, green is going for it, but they're not making the kill. Oh, wow. Oh, well, that helps a lot. Why is green helping fight red? Red can't really hurt green. Well, maybe they can. Maybe they could turn in, see that you have a continent, and blast into them. Huh. So very interesting play by green. Yellow is going to take. Are you going to knock out all this other red? Purple learned their lesson. They're waiting for somebody else to kill red before they take. Red, do they have a turn in? They don't. Do I run all the way to kill these? How far do I have to go? One, three, four, five, six, and then whatever's left. Hmm. Um, a sneakier guy than me would hit here and here and then guard to kill. That's the funniest way to play this, but it doesn't make any sense. But who says it has to make sense when you play Risk? Purple cannot kill red unless they're going through pink. Are they going through pink to make the kill? I don't think so. You're not going to get to Japan. Okay. Hmm. Four cards, though. Four big cards. Can you imagine? Am I new? New to what? New to Twitch? New to Risk? <laughs> GM isn't that hard? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'll try harder to impress all the new people. <laughs> new to life? No, I'm kind of old. This is a weird chessboard. Yeah, it doesn't have 64 squares. I'm actually not sure how many squares there are, but it's less than 64. Pink adds in. They, they I guess, are making the kill, but they're relying on a four on two, and they're saving their, their roll that's not 100% for last, you fool. So they can easily miss this. They should definitely roll this first. They should also definitely make this a six if they want 100% roll on a two. That was the birthday party. My daughter had a lot of fun. Oh, you got it. No problem. I was hoping to come in and just swoop up that free kill. <laughs> My daughter had a delightful time. Now, like she gave a present, obviously. But then the at the party, she received a present. It was a little terrarium. It was, uh, she has like a plant now. And it's not just a plant. <laughs> it's it has like it's like two really big plants and a really big thing just aim just aim at it I'm not gonna take just yet I'm just aiming I'm just aiming don't worry about me I'm just aiming I'll give pink another turn to roll this all out make sure I have a turn in and then take all this and it has like it has like little fairies in the terrarium or whatever it's called camera camera dear camera please work well played thank you if you're talking about me um but yeah it was cool 
It wasn't my daughter's birthday. She went to a birthday party. All right. Green is really aiming at me pretty hard. Green is not able to get a card. I suspect green will hit me. There's a small chance, a very small chance, pink gets completely out of the way and lets green get a position. I think that's a very, very hard ask. Why is pink not taking? I don't know, they're too strong to take. On their last turn, they made a kill, so they just made a kill, settled in on their position. And they probably take on the next turn, wiping green out. The question is, how does green get a card, and how does that affect my ability to take North America? So if green safely had some position out here, life would be great. I would just happily take North America. Green would leave me alone. Am I going to do the first Risk Gambit? I guess, you've, what, if you, you haven't seen my YouTube channel? I guess if you search Jonathan Trunt's Risk Gambit on, on YouTube, you got, you got a lot of hours to watch, okay? You got to catch up. Okay, so now pink is doing this. This is like an Asia grab. What is pink doing? I thought, so pink is strong enough to identify and make a kill, although kind of suspiciously, because they did a four on two at the very end. So kind of like a suspicious kill. But now they're doing this. What is this? Whoa. What the heck is happening here? <laughs> so he's going for Asia? <laughs> Why do you not want to be my friend? You need me, bro. You need me? Okay, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to let green get cards. I'm going to let them know that they can hit me. I don't get North America now. Because green has misplayed this. And green is going to be a jerk about it. So I can't, I can't mess them over in the future. Wow. I was so nice to you. I was so nice to you. So my next turn, I'm going to move this out of the way and see if green wants to run all the way in. But green doesn't give me a card, so now I hate green. <laughs> huh. Just, guys, just watch. Pink's gonna be a grandmaster. You're not gonna see it. Looks like an L now. We're fine. We have 42 troops, five cards. We're turning in for a huge amount. Stockfish says minus two, that's fine. That's not the most dubious gambit I've ever played in my life. Attack my territory if you need to. Maybe purple will give me a card. Cool. Attack my territory if you need to. <laughs> Please? No. Why'd you send me a heart if you were going to be a jerk about it? I was hoping purple would take and give me a card, but they don't. Shoot. Can I play Milner Berry in the next Holy Gambit Grail? We attempted it last time, but we failed to win. <laughs> so yes. Yeah, we're cool. We're cool. What, you, what did you say? Uh, oh, you said heart, yes or no. Did they just say like, are we friends? Yes or no? I think that's what they said. Yeah, we're friends. We're fine. It's green that is, is messing with me right now. But here's how I'm gonna solve this problem. I'm gonna give green an opportunity to leave. I am giving green an opportunity to leave. Pink is not. I don't know what pink is doing. Pink's play is amazing though. Spotting that I can't go for North America. No, you're going that way. Huh. Well, at least green gives me a car. Okay. So now I can take my continent. But green doesn't... I don't know how he could get an exterior. 
Pink's play is wild. Like, it doesn't make any sense, obviously, but at the same time, it, on this exact board, maybe it's crazy rational. They're messing with North America, which if you're able to do it with Australia, it's an interesting play. So I think I need to threaten, like, pink now. I might end up the fish here. <laughs> I definitely knock pink out next. And I try to, I don't know. I'm stuck in a hard spot and I think pink recognizes it. This move indicates that they recognize green is in a tough spot. Pink understands what they're doing. I like it. This is one of the most interesting opponents I've ever played against. So I respect it. I respect it a lot. I'm going to let Pink just get Asia and then do nothing about it. Okay. So here's the, here's the territory grab. They split. And then I think they put these here, I think, to try to deter. They put them all back. They put 10 here. What are they doing? Yeah. Okay. They put 10 there to try to prevent green from, from coming out. All right, I test green's friendship. I'm happy to not take cards. Let's see if green breaks me. I suppose they will. Okay, fair enough. I think I would if I were in green's shoes. <laughs> I would make the same play. Okay, I just wanted to see. And then you deny me cards. So I'm getting agitated. Green, you want to mess with me? While I, while I still have enough troops to fight you? Purple, please let me get cards. I guess I put my stack here. Purple might be afraid because maybe my stack hits them. Maybe I put my stack in a bad spot. I wish I had gone to Alaska. Is the Holy Gambit Grill over yet? That's on Sunday. Sunday. Every Sunday. Throughout the week, we do, we, do, we do chess risk and sometimes variety. And sometimes potato related content if you were here earlier. <laughs> I'm still alive. Everybody's alive, except for red. Oh, I'm still live. I thought you meant I was still living. Yeah, of course. I'm still breathing. <laughs> so yellow is not going to let pink get Asia. Let's see if everybody... I think pink is going to take this and everybody is going to be blocked. This is one of the wildest games I've ever played. This is not a, a typical game of Risk. I'm not able to get a card. Purple won't give me a card. Green won't give me a card. So I slowly become the fish. Let's see if yellow thinks I'm bluffing. Let's see if I am bluffing. Let's see if green splits. <laughs> so I actually hate green, but I have to, he's, green is splitting. So I actually hate green. If I escape into Asia, it's assured death. I surely die. Oh, they give me a card. Okay. Hmm. It's a very tough position. The longer the game goes on, the worse it gets for me. I've never been in such a frustrating position. I'm threatening Gamjaka to be sure. I'm definitely saying I'm going to hit your 11. We'll see if pink believes me. If I hit it, I mean, I, I lose so many troops. It does send a powerful message, though. Watch purple now hit me, now that green hit me. <laughs> I'm hoping if pink messes with everybody, though, if pink actually messes with these people, we'll see what happens.
Okay. They call my bluff in a big way. Okay, so pink is messing with... No, they're giving everybody else cards. They're just fighting against me. Okay. Well, let's try this. I don't take a card. Because I want to move my stack. I just want to have one card so that nobody ever wants to kill me. Maybe that's wrong. But I think the no carding begins now. I'm going to let... So green, you have one, two, three, four, five more turns. Before you run out of squares. And then that's your problem. Everybody's getting more troops than me. It's so true. So I'm going to fall to last place. I think if I keep to one card and just keep to myself, I don't think anybody will hit me. I mean, hitting a 29 of pink definitely loses. The other play is to go pop, pop, pop. But then I think for sure pink hits me. Pink is definitely going to hit me with this huge stack. If I go here, and I, I guard against green, which is risky because then green might just hit me. So I don't think I got a bonus. So you want to risk gambit? Here you go. This is the one card gambit. I'm close to green. Purple ever pops me. I'm close to them. Pink ever pops me. Nothing I can do. Maybe this is the better spot, actually. Because if pink ever broke in, I would have a line on them. So maybe I, maybe I move everybody to Alberta. Oh! Oh, you're a bot. Yellow bought it out. Ah, yellow couldn't stand the pressure. It, this board was too wild. It's a really cool play by pink. It's very risky because now I hate you. But the problem is I also hate green <laughs> for not securing an exterior stack. And I can't, I can't have two people I hate. What do I get with one card? Nothing. Which is why I hope nobody wants to kill me. If you kill me, you get nothing. But the bot helps a lot. Because the bot is going to be an enemy of green. The bot's going to be an enemy of pink. This helps a lot. So I actually might just keep taking cards now. I was going to wait five turns. Green would run out of cards and then have to do something. I think I take cards now. Because th there's a major change. A bot right in the middle that's going to mess with literally everybody else. It's just what I needed. So. <laughs> Let's go like this. All right, cool. I'll check out the new Yan Yan Gambit in the Discord. Yon Yon posts like almost daily gambits in the Discord. They're always chess gambits though. Never risk gambits. Wow, green lets me take if I want. Okay, he's trying, I see what green is saying. He's like, give me this as my exterior. Let me have an exterior in your continent and I trust you, I'm fortifying against the bot. Ha, huh. we'll see if it works out for green. A rook sack and a queen trap. It does sound interesting. I've never done this before, but after risk, we could go back to chess. <laughs> but I've played all the chess I can. Let's see what everybody else does. So purple is taking the brunt of this. Somehow this 16 has so far survived. We need, purple, you need to move this stack away so that this 21 is free to move. The 21 is stuck to the 63, so hopefully they, they hit a 3, which is unfortunate. Move your 20 away. The bot will take all of Europe, but you're totally fine with that because you've lost Europe. This puts a 69 close to pink. Now this bot will spread all through here. So I decide, I'm the, I can guard against the bot. If I decide North America is actually a possibility ever. Pink is, is going to try some weird blocking against a bot that will never work. 
<laughs> Let's see. Do I let the bot... Not yet. Should I block the bot out? Should I just let the bot come in? I, I'm gonna block the bot out for now. I'm gonna block the bot out. Then the bot will end up making a bunch here. And then at some moment, whenever I move my stack away, the bot will move it away. So I think green is trying. Green is at least saying I'm trying to get an exterior now that things have changed and not in his favor. Hmm. 63 bot troops. The bot is the strongest, one of the strongest on the board. Pink has gotten away with this for a long time. Once it takes here, I think it's going to start adding a bunch here. It's probably a continent bot, so it's going to take all these continents. And now there's this bot <laughs> right in the middle of the board. And purple is strong enough to have been one of the has-nots. Or sorry, they've been like a half. They've had one of the best continents for a long time. But they're strong enough to just get over it and give it up as soon as there's the bot on the board. Oh! Yeah, I hate pink too. I hate pink too. Wow, I thought they were strong enough to resist the urge. <laughs> but pink could easily go next. All right, my, my stack's in the wrong spot. When these guys fight, I need to be over here, double kill, and end up with Australia. It's my only way to fight against this oncoming bot. Hmm. Move your 29 away. Yes. Yes! Wait, this is beautiful. Oh, if you move them all away. But maybe green at some point gets out. Oh, you move only seven. I mean, come on. That's so lame. That's so lame. I lose one. Because green is actually trying to get out. What did you say? Did you break the alliance? Were we friends? What did pink just do? Oh, wait, everybody's losing their mind all of a sudden. Why did green do that? Okay. Hey, I'm very cool with that. I'm very cool with that. That's delightful. Why do the players always give the bot so much stuff? At the end of the game, you can always outplay the bot. Always. And since it's not a human player anymore, you always want to go into the end game with a bot. Because even if the bot is like three to four times your troops, you almost always win easily. Like it just doesn't, they play so bad. So there's never really a reason. You should spend all of your time trying to outplay the human players that are left in the game. Okay, let's see what purple does. Pink is not afraid of taking these big risks. Wow, purple respects it. <laughs> let's see if pink does anything. What would pink do? So purple resists this urge. I want to be over here if I can make a double kill. Oh, wow. Wow. Pink goes for South America. What a play. <laughs> and just like that, I do not have the most troops. But I have the most... Well, actually, after this turn in, just like that, I end up with the most troops on the board. It was that easy. <laughs> you know what? I take this because I want to actually knock green out. I, I'm not planning on holding this continent. I am kicking green out of North America in a not suspicious way. I don't want green in North America anymore. And I go here. If pink wants to hit me, they'll hit me anyway. It could have been a good time to keep a bunch here, but I don't think I'm making a kill. I suspect pink hits me because obviously. 
But what I'm actually doing is kicking green out. So now there, there's just no more green. Green can't add in here and do any nonsense. And that puts green in a bad spot. In a potentially killable spot going forward. We'll see what happens. Should we try to work with the jerk? Ooh! <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Green goes back. At the moment, I don't want an alliance. Okay. <laughs> There's really no reason to say that ever. You should never say, at the moment, I don't want an alliance. It's just like declaring war for literally no reason. Ignoring is okay, but usually best is you just accept because it gives you a way to communicate even if you choose not to communicate in the purpose. Just to make sure I know. All right, jerk. All right. Aren't you fighting green right now and purple? You also want to fight me? <laughs> Pink is actually like fighting everybody. They just declared war on me. They're messing with green. They're messing with purple. Usually the winning strategy when you have 70 troops and the rest of the board has like 300 troops is not to fight everybody. You sure feel like an ally to me. <laughs> That's the kind of thing a buddy would do. Yes, yes. And then make it look like I'm weaker by taking my continent. Yes. Open my stack or no? No. All right. So you don't want me to kill green for you. If they wanted me to kill green, they would open my stack. They don't want me to kill green. Okay. Or they're just messing with people. They, don't, they got no idea what the heck's going on. <laughs> my stack's not open. My stack. I'm doing great. I am, I'm loving this game. I'm gonna do nothing. I'm killing it out here with my 77 troops, man. I think pink should have opened my stack because I would, I would, it would be very difficult for me to resist <laughs> hitting green, making the kill. Hmm. Sneakiest might be to double guard here. This I think is the sneakiest. I need I'm really worried though about yellow. I have to keep a lot here so that yellow can never add. How many is yellow getting? Yellow's getting 10 per turn. So this could be a 52. I can't add that many here. If I could somehow add like 30 to 40 here, just to see if green ends up with a turn in, because they're gonna hit me here to get a card. I just can't afford to move this until I'm ready for the bot to come through. I can only realistically add safely 10 to maybe 20 troops here. But maybe pink is going to do it on their own. Sorry, I don't want your friendship right now. I want a sneak stack here that would be able to kill green. Wow, opens the 38. I, was, I thought Pink was like playing a masterpiece. Turns out they're just a noob. Ah, well, I can get behind that one. <laughs> All right, it's time for a sneak stack. Whatever I can afford to leave here, I'm putting here. This could be a 52 on the next turn. I'm not gonna, it's the start of my sneak stack. We don't have to go nuts yet. Let's leave 60 here. But then as soon as they have cards, they could actually end up putting 20 on, theoretically. Get them, get them, get them. Woo! <laughs> they did have a turn in, which was very lucky for them. Let's see if they knock all of this pink out, or you just take South America. You're very weak now, so they knock all of pink out. I th Purple probably kills pink now, and I trust purple. So going into this end game... I, at some point, should be able to kill green. Purple should be able to kill pink. Let's see how they decide to defend. There's also the possibility that the bot now smacks this 18, which would be huge, just to make the kill insanely profitable. Oops. <laughs> you messed with the wrong guy, pink. Yeah, 19 at least. 19? Ooh. 
I think somebody's about to get a free two cards. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Oops. So now, nobody is fighting the bot. I, I obviously kill green, but then the question becomes, do I actually move this stack over so I can kill all these players? I, uh, yeah, I'm scared. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I bet you 11 gets there. Do you kill pink? No. I think the bot is going to win this game. I am going to move my 60 because I'm not going to hit this, obviously. But maybe pink does. What a noob. He wants to kill green. Pink wants to kill green. And he runs right through the bot to do it. So maybe I can kill pink. I ki if I kill pink, then I can, I can 1v1. My stack though, my beautiful stack. I can't first strike purple because I've I, my stack is in the wrong spot. It needs to be here now or somewhere else. So pink makes the kill. Hmm. Alternative. Purple kills pink. They get they're gonna get four cards though. I can't let shoot. I can't let purple get this kill. I have to make this kill. But then it's not easy to kill purple after that. Just because of where my stack is. I can't let purple make the kill. But then I need my stack, like, where purple can't actually strike it and get attacker's advantage on me. But maybe the bot wins this game. Uh oh. Alright, we did it. Yeah, I have my Greenland stack, but what do you want me to do? Go to a 54? That's a losing play. <laughs> so if I put them all here, purple could just smash into my stack and probably just win. If I put them all here... Purple turns in. Did they kill me? I'm, I am thinking of putting them out here. Then I have to run through whatever nonsense. I don't know. I'll try to hold some continents. The bot doesn't turn in, that's great. Bot starts coming into North America. I'm just trying to hold South America for one turn, see what purple, purple's end game plan is here. 11 on 11, they might, they might. Ah, uh, and then cause I had my stack here, the bot obviously naturally adds here. Watch this stay here. Don't move. Ah. <laughs> All right, so there goes one continent. Okay, so purple probably... Did they hit me? Yeah, this actually is a very clear path. I would be very surprised if they don't. I think it would be a big mistake if they don't. Which makes me curious if I had left my whole stack there, but I didn't know if they had a turn in. Look at that. Purple wants peace. No, I, I refuse to turn that in. Wow. Yeah, let's kill. Let's kill yellow. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's kill yellow. Let's be friends. Let's just work together and fight yellow. <laughs> You go first. <laughs> Sadly, I had to make this fortification, but I, I know that the stack is pointed right at my seven, which I suspect that they'll hit. But they are worried that we kill each other. The very real worry is we kill each other and then the bot wins. It's a, it's a very serious concern. But I do now have a line to win the game. And by win the game, I mean kill purple and then possibly come back against a hundred bot troops. But I don't want any more second places. I'm sick of all these second places. Every risk video can't be me getting second place. And by every, I mean like two in a row, AKA every single one. Huh? So we have a huge turn in. So they're working. I'm feeling extraordinarily generous. I go here. I go here. I send a heart. I show I attack pink. I show I move away from you so your stack can move. I have more troops, more cards. So I will kill purple when I'm ready. But if purple's actually gonna hit the bot, I mean, I'll give him a second. I'll give him a chance. So if they wanna guarantee second place, they can go nuts on yellow. I'm not attacking them, I'm gonna kill you. If you want second place, you can attack the bot. I have five cards and more troops than you, and I, I'm gonna have the advantage of attacking you first. Might not be enough. That might not be enough to save you. Because now I can turn in, kill purple, and get cards. So that sadly was not enough to save you. <laughs> if I kill them though, I do die to this bot, right? Let's see how many I lose. Here it comes. Not bad. <laughs> I gave you a chance. Opponent could have gotten second valiantly. Gave him a chance. But we wipe them out, we get to turn in, and I think we, we win this because we got a decent roll. Now we just play against a bot. Sounds simple enough. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just try to take a bunch of territory. I don't think I even need to slide in this situation. M said moments before major regret. We just start knocking this out as much as possible. We'll just make sure we keep our continent just to be safe. And there we go. We should be able to win a game of Risk. And this was one of the weirdest games. Whatever Pink was doing early on, but it was easy to identify. There was a lot of novices and beginner players. I would guess that Pink is at, as a beginner, but they showed like some understanding. They were able to make kills. They could be intermediate, I think. They're beginner or intermediate. Red was a novice. He just went nuts for no reason. Yellow, I don't, I don't know. You get downgraded just for botting out. Doesn't have patience, good, played well, didn't have the patience though. Well, I'll just guess beginner just to say beginner. And then maybe, who do we just wipe out? Purple, I think they, oh, it's a good defense of your continent. Wow, he did a three point hold. I can't believe the bot did a three point hold. Um. I don't know, probably intermediate or something. All right, we just wreak havoc. We just hit as much as we possibly can. 
I'll let you argue that I, I can do this faster. Just gonna do it relatively safely. Eh, put you guys somewhere where I can attack on the next turn. I'm keeping my 12 here, which maybe I can move it. It's a bot, so I just kind of expect the bot will unleash this stack at some point. So the ranks, if you're unfamiliar with how the ranking works, it's basically like three tiers. There's novice and then beginner. And I think you actually start at beginner. So to reach novice, you got to lose a lot. Kind of like in chess, to actually get to 100 rated, you got to lose a lot. So normally novice players, they're just smashing people for no reason. At the end of their first turn, they got like 10 troops left. They just, if they, if they can smash, they do smash. Beginners are a little bit deeper strategic understanding. Look at this bot easily taking the continents. My stack's buried. I'm humiliated. But beginners also, you know, make tons, quite a lot of mistakes. We'll just make sure we break for now. Wait till we get cards to do some serious damage. I suppose I'm going to have to actually get my stack out, which is sad. Intermediates are 1,800 rated chess players that have learned how to just... The art of doing nothing. That feeling when you're playing chess. And then you realize at some point, wait, if I just make like normal, natural developing moves, I can just develop in castle and wait for my opponent to blunder pieces. That's how you get to 1,800 in chess. That's how you get to 1,800. <laughs> it's an intermediate in risk. And then you go up to Expert, which is a powered up intermediate. Masters start to really have like a pretty decent feel of the game. They can see things coming, they can make kills, they, they have a very good understanding. And then Grandmasters are kind of, they know what to do when there's, there's nothing else to do. When you play Anatoly Karpov and you're like, man, there's nothing to do in this position. Oh, he knows, he knows exactly what to do. All right, give me this. Smash here, smash here. Get smashed. Blomp, 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 blomp. No, 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 no. Go here, go here, go here. I have conquered Asia. <laughs> we'll go all in right here. Am I a novice? I'm winning this game. You think a novice could win this game? I got up to master. Let's go. And then you rage quit some games and now you're intermediate. Look, I'd like to say that I'm, I haven't done that myself but I am insanely guilty of, <laughs> of doing that. <sighs> but never on camera. I've always been professional. One of the top professional risk streamers and YouTubers. That's what they say. So there we go. Let's get some cards. Can we do it? Am I strong enough to know the math on a five? Answer, no. But I will put a nine here, and then I'll put the rest here, and we'll just, we'll go to Hammertown. Five on five. Five on three. I'm losing my mind. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Six on six. What is he doing? He doesn't understand the game at all. All right, put me up here. Eh, that's going to be fine. <laughs> and I'm also a YouTuber. This will be on the Vampire Chicken YouTube channel, of course every game of Risk, and we're going to be doing this for a while. So actually, I'm very curious. Today, I'm actually going to publish for live. In the future, you've already seen the YouTube videos, potentially. I'm going to be posting uh, every single video that I play because what I have been doing is I've been playing Risk and then publishing videos that I wasn't streaming, and that went really well because I have more focus. I think it's actually easier. But I'm trying to stream more often. And so if I stream every day, I probably only play one game of Risk every day. Hello to all the new people. And then, since that's the only thing I did, I'll be publishing games that I stream. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully YouTube reacts positively to it or doesn't care. <laughs> Whew. Thankfully, I was able to break that continent. It was a little bit dicey there. And then away we go. Let's see. Down to 16 troops. If I have a trade in, it's got to be for sure done. We'll be able to swoop up most of this. They do break Africa, it looks like. Good choice, computer. Well played. We'll see what everybody is rated. And we'll see where we're going next. All right. Eh, let's path it a little bit stronger, a little bit better pathing. Let's go up this way. And we did it. We have conquered the entire world. And now we get to look at what all of our opponents were rated. 
and let's see what we were dealing with today. Give me some giant battle points. I love it. It's great to get a first place after the last couple of games. Novice, obvious. Purple was a master. Interesting. I did win. Purple was a master. Yeah, they played very well. So I guess I'm not surprised, but I am surprised. Pink was a beginner. That's why they were doing all that attacking. But Pink wasn't ever throwing it away. Here's the difference between a novice and a grandmaster. The novice just smashed, smashed, smashed and ran out. The beginner always, always attacked and didn't die right away. But eventually you can't fight everybody forever. We also played an expert and a novice. So overall, a pretty good game. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you subscribe and maybe come watch me on Twitch because I'm playing Risk every single day. See ya.